Hello, everyone. I'm Nishioka at the International Office at Shibara Institute of Technology, SID Japan. Thank you for having us today. In this presentation, I'm going to introduce SID and our programs. From next slides, I'm going to talk about basic information of SID. The mission statement of SID is nurturing practical engineers who learn from society and contribute to society. So we are not only bringing theories to the table, but we are interested how we can contribute to the global sustainability. Our graduates have a higher employment rate compared to other universities in Japan. We think this is one of the reasons as we provide education based on this mission statement. Also to accomplish this mission statement, we encourage students to be exposed to the international environment where they can co learn to cope with, collaborate with, and have friendships with students all around the world. Next, I'm going to talk about the locations. We have three campuses. Two are located in Tokyo, and one is located in Saitama, which is the suburb of Tokyo. We have campuses in metropolitan area, so we have strong connections with industries. The total number of SIT is we have 9,089 students, which makes us a mid-sized university. Next, I'm going to talk about the fields of studies in SID. We have 16 departments and one school of, at the undergraduate level, and we have one graduate school. Basically, our fields of studies are divided into seven areas, electrical, electric information, materials, applied chemistry, mechanical, mathematical sciences, biotechnology, design, architecture, and civil engineering. So I have been talking about basic information at SID and I will move on to the global side of SIT. One of our best features is the internationalization. SIT is known as one of the top global universities in Japan. Let me explain about the top global university project. In 2014, the Japanese government announced the top global university project to act as a role model for the globalization of Japanese educational institutions. The project's goals are to enhance Japanese universities' international competitiveness and develop global-minded graduates. And I'm proud to announce that SIT was officially selected by the Japanese government. There are about 800 universities in Japan but only 37 universities were chosen for this project. This means putting us in the top 5% of universities in Japan. Besides, SIT is the only private science and engineering universities in Japan which was selected. This is the number of outbound and inbound students per year. Outbound means Japanese students going abroad and inbound means students who are international who came to SID. You can see the number has gradually increased from 2014 when we are selected as the top global university. In 2019, we accepted 1,692 students from abroad. As a top global university, we have several targets for year 2023. 
For example, we are trying to have about the number of 30% of students from abroad. This is SIT's ranking. Among Japanese universities in 2020, we are ranked in 35th. Also, we have other goals to achieve in seven years. Our visions of 2027 is to become one of the top 10 technical universities in Asia. So I have been talking about SIT itself, and I hope you are interested. And now I'd like to move on to our programs and how you can join SIT. A new undergraduate program was just launched this year, fall 2020. It is called the Innovative Global Program, IGP. The, IG, the IGP is an honors program and is an undergraduate degree program where all classes and research are conducted totally in English. One of the features is that it focuses on research-based learning. As soon as students join this program, they begin to get hands-on experience research-based learning mentored by their supervisors and faculty. Research-based learning continues throughout their four years in the program. The next feature is a laboratory rotation. From their second year, students spend short periods in the laboratories of various disciplines to acquire interdisciplinary knowledge of other fields. The third feature is that students have chances to present their research at international conferences. This is the application schedule. Next, about the graduate program. Our graduate program is also offered in English. We have seven programs at the master's and two programs at the doctoral level. We also have non-degree seeking programs. You can come and experience SID and life in Japan through our mobility program. There are three kinds as shown on this slide. The first program is the course taking sandwich program, which allows students to take courses at SID. Both undergraduates and graduate students of any year level can participate in this program. Also, we offer scholarship for students who passes the screening process. The next program is a research exchange program. We, here, the students can conduct research under the supervision of SID professor. One feature of the pro this program is the flexibility of the duration. The duration can be from a minimum of eight days to a maximum of a year. Some students come to SID for one year to complete their master's thesis, and other students come to SIT during their summer holiday. There are six entry periods, so please check out web page and each application deadlines. Finally, the third program is Global PBL. PBL stands for Project Based Learning. It is the two to four weeks program to solve challenging issues with other students so that students can learn how to collaborate with people from different backgrounds and they will learn how to manage the project and how to lead the team. Lastly, just for your information, this is the average amount for living in Tokyo. Okay, so that's it for my presentation. Thank you for your time. And we look forward to meeting you in SIT. If you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.